r slash ask reddit what movie things are generally accepted as normal but are totally unrealistic in real life when people talk perfectly without any pauses mid-sentence or making any uhh or hum sounds guns making a lot of random clicking noises as soon as they point it at someone sexy scientists wearing little or no protective gear except a lab coat in real life that would get your whole operation shut down for months grenades kill by launching shrapnel but also by the concussive force it expends there's no big explosion it's like a puff of smoke filled with angry metal bees shooting out everywhere a bright eyed 22 year old moving into the big apple and getting a one bedroom apartment while hunting for their dream job while eating at pizza places and drinking lattes people having copious amounts of time to spend with their friends not being tired after work those vents are so duck i'm clean jesus christ regaining consciousness after receiving cpr they sometimes just stop conversations on the most random spots or hang up huge lapses in time or long distances traveled but the characters are still at the same spot in conversation showing up for a meeting over dinner or drinks having said meeting in one two minutes and just leaving it bugs me so much that so many shows and movies do this. You could easily just cut the scene and the viewer could just imagine that they finished dinner together or had their drinks. But nope. People will literally order a drink, take a sip and just walk away. When in real life have you ever seen that? People on low incomes. For example, students living in expensive homes. I'm not necessarily talking about mansions. More like a large apartment in a big expensive city with no roommates. Weird nobody mentioned that in movies everybody always looks at each other while driving. And they move the damn driving wheel way too much while driving straight forward. Pisses me off. Everyone is young. Especially doctors, professors, specialists they all seem to be the top of their field with years of experience and they are all like 22. And hot women in action movies who drastically cut their own hair to change their appearance always end up with a fabulous style the punch sound women in high heels all day long sometimes they run in them to tackle a bad guy or to get away from a bad guy the next day they put their non-swollen feet back in them without complaint oh women never sweat their makeup off their faces and never have a greasy sheen in miami in august grand ridiculous gestures to impart a minor piece of information like how did you know the deceased follow me it's better if i show you drive three hours into the wilderness six hours hiking up a mountain now sitting in the darkness around a campfire you see she was my sister and she really loved camping here turning on the tv or radio that happens to be covering the subject the characters were talking about unless you are talking about the 11th of september that would never happen never discussing a meeting location like for dinner bad guys can't shoot for shit the good guy however can take a snapshot with a pistol and bring down a helicopter 300 yards away the women are all drop dead gorgeous when a character is misunderstood by another character and doesn't even try explain themselves after being cut off by the other person. For example, say Betty was in an awkward situation with Billy where it looked like Betty was cheating on Johnny with Billy but it was just a big huge innocent mix up. Johnny catches them and Betty tries to explain but Johnny cuts her off, says we are done don't talk to me ever again, and that's the end of it. Betty just gives up trying to explain. Like I know damn well in real life if Betty wasn't cheating on Johnny, if it was a big confusing mix up, that conversation would not be over. When someone gets knocked out, and stays unconscious until the plot requires them to wake up again. Deathbed scenes. People do not simply lay there looking relaxed and well groomed, say something profound, then die. It is protracted and ugly and usually they are not even conscious so near death. People opening their front door 3 seconds after an unexpected knock, like they're just constantly standing behind the door, just in case. When someone hides from bullets behind penetrable objects, like tables or a refrigerator door. Unless it's a movie drama dealing with social issues, in particular poverty, everyone has such ducking nice flats, college dropout with part time barista job, semicolon why yes. The spacious loft with a view over Manhattan's skyline is just down my alley. 
Hot girl is ugly because she wears glasses. You want to go on a date with me? Sure. See you there. Um time? Place? Quick, turn on the news. TV is already tuned into the news channel and it's at the beginning of the broadcast that can barf up 100% of the information needed to drive the story. Finding a parking spot in front of the building you're going into. Describing common knowledge in a different setting. Luke should know all about Moss Easley. It's the biggest town near his house. Winning over a girl by making over the top. Grand gestures. Especially when she has already rejected you in the past. Shattering bottles easily over someone's head. Don't attempt it unless you want to possibly go to prison for murder. In action sequences in general. Taking an enormous amount of injury and then getting up with a few attractively placed bruises and cuts. In particular, the trope of the bad guy who more or less needs to be thrown into a jet turbine to be destroyed. Or he'll somehow get back up again. Characters who always have something witty to say and are never at a loss for words. Everything medical. Being in a coma for weeks or months. Waking up and walking around a day or two later? Ridiculous. We treat people that were in comas even for just a few weeks and it takes them forever to recover from it. His heart stopped beating and clear. Semicolon don't get me started on that. In the rare cases when they do fake CPR, the actual CPR success rate is about 3%. Yes, 3%. That even goes for health professionals. Spinal cord injuries. A miracle. He can walk again. No. 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 Takes months and years. Will stay severely impaired. It's more like walking with crutches very slowly and not very far for the rest of his her life. Gunshot wounds. Knife wounds never cause nerve damage. Nope. They do. Again. Disabilities for the rest of your life. No oxygen for more than 5 minutes. You can go for a longer time in extreme cold. Permanent and severe brain damage. Can you guess it? That's right. Severe disabilities for the rest of your life. The good guy breaks a bone. Is in a cast for weeks months. Cast comes off. Leg looks like new. Nope. It literally stinks. Especially in summer. Skin doesn't look healthy and yes. Massive loss of muscle mass and function. Good news. With enough training. We are talking weeks and months. No disability. I am an Anglican priest. We are never found lingering alone in candlelit churches late at night picking up service bulletins or books from pews. Yet every movie shows priests and ministers puttering around dark churches cleaning up. I hate cell phones in movies. Typical movie scenario. Character A has super important information. Character B has really poor reception. A calls B to relay information. Phone call keeps cutting off. B just accepts it wasn't important and keeps going. A gives up. Typical real life scenario. A has super important information. B has really poor reception. A calls B to relay information. Phone call keeps cutting off. B texts A to ask what's so important. A texts back the super important information. Conflicts is resolved. Permanent free parking spots right outside the building you need to go to. Everyone is either attractive or ugly until they take their glasses off and become attractive. Women orgasming after 30 seconds of sex. How nobody in movies hurts their knuckles after punching someone. Martial artist here and if you punch someone in the forehead like they do in the movies you'd probably just break your own fist. Hitting someone in the forehead is basically like punching a cinder block except the skull is actually harder. Edit. Wow my first medal. Thanks. Hero always get the best seat in a busy restaurant dinner. Everyone buys french bread or celery every shopping trip. Everyone is ridiculously good looking. Oh I have one. Hailing cabs. Always when you need it. Just wave. Taxi i.e. So many movies and shows have the trope of cutting the palm of your hand when blood is needed for some sort of ritual. It originated because it was an easy place for them to hide a blood packet back when special effects weren't what they are today. However, if you've ever had a cut on the palm of your hand you would know that's a terrible place to make a wound because you pretty much lose the use of that hand and it can take a while to heal. There are much better places to draw blood from yet we still see it all the time. Hell I just saw it yesterday in the first episode of the new season of the chilling adventures of Sabrina. And on top of that the characters are fine in the scenes after or in the case of shows like Supernatural and the 100. They are making fists and fighting with no problem. 
cars often come to a literal screeching halt, even for normal parking or just pulling up to a stop, because sound designers can't help themselves. In real life your passengers would get whiplash and ask what the hell you are doing and bystanders would stare. They still fire more rounds than the gun holds. Not eating the meal that is in front of you. The breakfast thing. Having a big amazing breakfast laid out on a schoolwork day, and then everyone rushes off after eating one bite of toast. Sound suppresses on guns make, bullets being stopped by car doors, cars exploding when shot, literally 95% of anything gun related, edit, never had a comment go over 4 or 5 upvotes at any given time. Silences on pistols, not actually that silent lol. Ending phone calls without the common courtesy of saying goodbye, like they're too important to acknowledge the other person's ducking existence, they just hang up mid-sentence, rude laugh. Not watching the goddamn road while driving. This is mostly horror movies, but the notion that late at night hospitals are dimly lit and run by a skeleton crew of like one doctor, a few nurses, and a few other staff members on hand to tend to a few patients. Anyone who's ever spent a significant amount of time in hospitals, especially in large cities, knows that hospitals are packed with staff and patients 24 stroke 7. Going into any bar and just ordering beer, and then getting it no questions asked. How sex is depicted, get the job done, roll over and fall straight to sleep, not even any hint of a clean up job, edit, thank you for my first ever silver and gold. Shooting a barrel causing it to explode. Hacking super fast. Surviving an explosion. If you cough or sneeze, you're going to die. Murdering large numbers of people, or other generic villain thugs. Laughing about it and then leaving the collateral damage for someone else to clean up. For some reason, brutal murder is okay. So long as you get more screen time than the bad guy who also brutally murders people. If you keep persisting. You get the girl of your dreams and totally not a restraining order. Thanks for the award, stranger, colon. Ro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content more right. it's free and that's a great price.